I, you already know I'm coming to mess with you. Good morning. The amount of your property taxes causes your mortgage payment to fluctuate every year. Darius came home not feeling good. Two, three, four. Wow. Okay. You meant to say Jaguars? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Crazy. To make my ginger tea. This is their electric vehicle. I need to bite. Mm -mm, that's good. Controls. Have y'all ever tried any of this? Oh, they caught me off guard. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to a new vlog. So it's Sunday. As you can see, I just got through cooking the kids breakfast and I'm editing while I'm waiting on my video to export. I'm about to start cooking lunch slash dinner, which is going to be lasagna. So I'm about to brown this meat and then, yeah, hey, <laughs> we've been consistent. We've been seeing each other a lot. I'm loving this for us. Before we get too far into the video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up, like the video that lets YouTube know it's good content and they share it to people that watch similar videos as you so the channel grows comment what you currently doing girl it's sunday and i'm clicking about to start cleaning and it's not a vibe so let me know what you currently doing while watching this vlog and then also make sure you subscribe before you leave we on the road to 2000 10k 100k one mil all that we just want to grow over here so yeah, <laughs> all that stuff also motivates me to continue to post content as well. Cause when you see your stuff doing good, you be like, oh, let's keep posting. <laughs> so please, please help your girl out. But let's get this uh, ground beef cooked. We went grocery shopping, like literally last vlog ended, this vlog started. I've been being real consistent. But I don't know if I'm about to make the whole lasagna right now or if I'm just going to brown the meat and make the sauce and then put everything together later. I think that makes sense. I don't know if you feel like I got ADHD, y'all. I be jumping to the next task before completing the last task. So this works out perfect for me. Cook the ground beef, go finish editing, come back and put it together, go finish shooting content. Then I got me two slices of bacon right here to go on top of my little um salad that I'm gonna make a little later. But I just wanted to start the vlog. Look at the video, this is the one I'm currently working on. You see it says exporting and it's at 44%. So as soon as that's done, I'm trying to get this on YouTube today. So our meat is cooked and I drained off all the fat and fluid and I'm about to add some peppers and onions. I don't know who told me about this blend. I wanted to say it was Ebony Ebo, but baby, this is God sent. My onions and my peppers used to go bad real quick and I love this since I started buying them frozen. Best thing ever happened to me. So I'm about to add some of that. So we're gonna add some black pepper. Some Italian seasoning, and this is just my first round of seasoning. Like, I love very seasoned food, so 
I'm gonna taste it when I think it's done and then add whatever else needs to be added. What was that? That was Italian seasoning. There's some complete seasoning. Y'all know I can't cook without it. A little bit of honey rub. Gives it a smoky flavor and a sweet flavor instead of just adding sugar. A lot of people like to. A lot of people like to add sugar to their, um, what should I call it? Their lasagna spaghetti. I just add some of that. A little bit of oregano. And then for salt, I use Obey because I love the seafood taste in all foods. And we're going to let that do what it do. Oh, how could I forget the garlic? Some garlic. So I'm trying something a little bit different today. I wanted to make my own sauce. So it's really, you know, sauce is really just tomatoes. So I'm trying to get away from so many processed foods. So these are some petite diced potatoes. We're about to drop, uh, tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. And I like textured foods too, that's another thing. Okay, so we damn sure know that ain't gonna be enough. I was trying to start off with moderation. So, along with that, we got some tomato sauce. Just the sauce. Okay, this is what's gonna do it for us. And I'm gonna add some basil leaves and let this mug sit until it's time to cook. I'll taste it then and see if I wanna add anything, but this is gonna speed up the process for dinner for me. So our video is up, past all the copyright checks, so we can start cooking again, y'all. Dinner is done. Yeah, dinner is done. <laughs> My video is up too, so that premieres at six o'clock. I'm about to take my medicine because I was late this morning. And I got my gift cards that I got for my birthday. Um, Kia had texted me, and I believe she said each one of the Amazon ones have $50. But either way, I don't care because it's all free-ish. So I'm about to load these onto my Amazon account. And then I'm about to shop for some stuff for my master bedroom, I mean bathroom, because I got rid of everything. Who in the laundry room? I hope y'all can see me. But I got rid of um, everything out my master bedroom. So I want bathroom. Why I keep saying bedroom out my master bathroom? So I want to work on getting that decorated this week. And then child, I gotta fold all these clothes. So today's been a pretty chill Sunday because like I said, Darius took my car to work and I don't like driving his car. So I've been in the house all day. At this point, I'm just about to finish chilling in the house, put up these clothes, um, put up the clothes. I may take the kids somewhere. I wanna tell y'all if we go, y'all gonna see it. I may take them somewhere. And then I got this little device. And y'all probably seen it on Instagram because that's where I seen it from. And it clips on top of your camera so your phone can sit on top of the camera. Basically, you can create short form content and long form content at the same time. This connects to your camera and allows your phone to be mounted at the top. Because I have a huge issue with trying to figure out, am I going to record this for a vlog or am I going to record this for a reel or a short? So this is going to fix that problem. That just came in from Amazon. And yeah, that's tea. So our little Sunday light reset, cause it's been real light. Our Sunday reset was cool. I just wanted to make sure I got them something cooked, cause I can't go nowhere to get them nothing to eat. Yeah. 
let's go ahead and fold these clothes up child and I'll see y'all tomorrow after that if anything changes then I'll see you today The lasagna is out the oven. This is how it came out. This is the big one, the main one. Definitely should have got a lasagna deep dish pan, but you know, it is what it is. And then this is the mini one I made for my niece because we had a little extra cup of noodles, meat sauce and stuff. So she gonna come pick that up. And that's that. I'm about to put this bread in the oven and the kid's about to eat dinner. And do y'all cut y'all lasagna? I do because I don't like them the side the portions of my food. They convinced us to bring them to the pool, y'all. Come on, Darian. Those out here doing flips, but it got me nervous because I remember when I was young, I did a flip and I got a black eye. So I said cannonballs on. So they supposed to do. They supposed to be doing the cannonball at the same time. <laughs> they so lame. <laughs> because I do this every morning. <laughs> there is cakes it, but I like to see my house well lit. I came down the stairs with such ease and joy, knowing the fact that I don't have to cook today because they have a leftover lasagna. What is this alarm for? They have leftover lasagna, so I don't gotta cook today, so I'm about to make Darian something to eat for breakfast, take him to school, and then we about to get a workout in. Uh-huh, and yes, today is gonna be upper body day i gotta find Darius' car keys too because apparently he couldn't find it and he took my car to work i be thinking he just be making up excuses to drive my car to work sir pay the car note then <laughs> pay the car note then okay so let's make this breakfast real quick I do not like vlogging with this camera. I promise I don't because the colors be so crazy looking. And when I edit it, it be back to normal. I can't wait to get my Sony bag. So TikTok said this was the easiest way ever to make a breakfast sandwich. So I figured I would try it because every morning I make breakfast for my son and I like to be a little spontaneous while keeping it healthy. That's why you see that whole grain bread. So I thought this would be something cute and fun to do. Like I enjoy cooking for him. So I start cooking and it was at this point that I realized that I was using the wrong damn pot. 
couldn't get my uh spatula up on it there so my eggs started to fall apart and i felt a little hurt and i got discouraged and i'm like this ain't the easy way to make it this ain't the easy way to make it not knowing it's my behind you used the wrong pot sis but it did end up coming out really cute my son enjoyed the meal it ended up being two eggs instead of one that i usually cook for him so it kept him full all day and this is really brain food you hear me because you got your grains in there you got your turkey sausage and you got your blueberry so yeah he had a good productive day at school and was able to pay attention and focus so y'all should try this and make it for your kids for breakfast mm, scrumptious so i was first of all that sandwich that i just made i tried to use the little TikTok method and that shit was hard as hell. It took longer than just making a sandwich the normal way. So I wouldn't recommend it. Just make you a normal bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Like, it ain't even that serious. And then I used this while recording. And this is the device that I showed y'all yesterday. And this um one creator, I forgot her name. She posted it. And you basically put it, like, let's pretend this is the camera. You put it on your camera and it holds your cell phone so you can create short form and long term long form content at the same time but with how with how high above the camera my phone is like this the camera lens my phone will be here they're getting two completely different angles so if you're like dead on straight ahead just shooting like this i guess it'll work but when you're leaning over stuff and trying to get different angles this ain't good i'm about to put it in the drawer until I see fit to use it again, but I don't think this is something that I would be using daily. Darius eating breakfast. And I'm about to get him dressed. I already picked out his clothes and everything. So this morning, this Monday morning is starting off really good. <laughs> you already know I'm coming to mess with you. Good morning. Yeah. How are you? Good. How was your breakfast? Good. Okay, you ready for school? Y'all, let me tell y'all a little story about the outfit he got on. It's so funny because my oldest son that's 16, this is his outfit that he's wearing. Their grandma, she loves to say stuff when she know, like, hand-me-down vibes. When she knows she got another one coming. So she saved all my oldest son clothes and she brought us a big old bag. And it's so cute and funny to me that he's wearing his big brother's clothes. That's DJ's outfit. I would have never saved it. But Nana saved it and she brought you a bunch of stuff from DJ. I, I thought that was so cool. You ready? Okay, your backpack in the car. Your lunch is packed. Let's get on the road, Jack. Oh, you getting greedy? Oh, that's 30 or greedy. Oh, you can Where did the damn letter go? Here it go. This is the letter that I be dreading every year. So, let me cover our address. Look what they say. If you're a homeowner, then you know. So, this is our property taxes proposed for the upcoming year. And the property taxes... For us, we escrowed our property taxes, which means we pay it monthly with our mortgage payment. But this, the amount of your property taxes causes your mortgage payment to fluctuate every year along with your insurance. So a few vlogs ago, I ain't even looked at it yet. I'm so nervous. A few vlogs ago, I told y'all about how our homeowner's insurance went up. So I'm, anyways, I don't, I don't understand why we got to pay a higher amount of taxes like i understand property taxes but property taxes are based on your property value which in most cases the property value goes up every year it's very rare it goes down so even if you bought your house cash and you paid off your house you still have to pay property taxes every year and yo Gotti actually didn't know that the rapper yo Gotti, and he bought a bunch of property cash and it almost went into foreclosure because he haven't he didn't know that you still had to pay the property taxes which is crazy you got all that money and you'll notice but he didn't know you still had to pay property taxes after so he didn't pay him for like five years finally they caught up with him and it was about to foreclose on his properties and he got everything caught up but 
this is crazy. Let, let's look at the damage. The proposed property tax is your rate taxes for the shares proposed budget changes made so I guess it ain't too bad but it still went up um 2022 2023 oh last year it went down so 2022 it was estimated at 36 18 13 for the year then 2023 and mind you this is billed basically in advance because right now it's showing, and this is for this current year, it's $34,1641, so $3,416.41. Now for this upcoming year, 2024 basically, it's $3,968.06, which means it increased roughly by $500. If we take $500 and divide that by 30, that's $291, no that's wrong, $500 and divided by 12 so that's an extra $42 a month roughly I guess that ain't too bad because we're still paying under $1,600 for our mortgage even with that increase and I know people out here paying $2,000 plus for one bedrooms but I don't like increases I don't because it's the same shit y'all ain't gave me no new house like why I gotta pay more for the same shit <laughs> okay and everything else is pretty much junk mail. Somebody got a product recall. I be hating when they doctor up the spam mail so good and make it look like important mail and you open up that shit and it's just spam. Okay, yeah. All this shit is trash. And the last thing we got, which is somewhat of a package, um... I talked to y'all about TikTok. I talked to y'all about TikTok Shop before, but TikTok Shop has a feature where you can get a sample of certain products for free. So I tested it out and I was adding a bunch of stuff to my shop to see when the free sample thing would pop up and it finally popped up for a dress. So I got a free sample of this dress and I got to make a TikTok um, basically promoting it so I can get my commission. I haven't tried on the dress yet, so hopefully everything works, because if it don't work, that shit is getting sent back. Whew, all right, let's go home and get this workout, and it's nine o'clock, and we about to get active. I make me my Celsius drink with my chlorophyll in there. This is like a natural, healthy pre-workout. It was only 15 calories. About to get us an at home workout in and i wear these socks that have like the skit safe things at the bottom when i'm doing my at home workouts because i do not like wearing shoes in my house like i am very big on that i do not like shoes in my house because if something falls my fat ass need to be able to eat it <laughs> so i try to keep the floors clean if not clean shit, just my own dirt don't bring in no dirt from outside i can eat my own dirt <laughs> Oh, my button fell off. I'm gonna have to cut that, see? The button fell off, so it's not clamping. But yeah, I'm gonna insert the TikTok that I make with the at-home workouts because I need this tripod that y'all currently own. And I'll see y'all after that. I got the urge to get back on my Zoom today. So we're doing some upper body workouts. They are beginner friendly and they don't require much equipment. Although I just got my first set of dumbbells, so I got some equipment, but you don't have to use any. And let me just say, when you fall off your Zoom, it be just real hard to get back on. So do not be like me and do not fall off your Zoom. If you're on a weight loss journey, these are some easy upper body workouts. I like to rotate my upper body, lower body, and then full body. So I work out three times a week. And I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I want to get consistent enough, consistent enough to where I'm working out uh, daily. But we're going to pray about that and we're going to work on that. So what I love most about working out at home is that it's free. And then you have different things around the house that you can be resourceful and use throughout your workout. Perfect example. This Dawn bottle. Oh, yeah, this one took me out. I felt that all in my abs. But this Dawn bottle was perfect because my weights were. I be sleep on these at home workouts like I even broke a little sweat and I broke a nail. It was about time for me to get my nails done anyway. I've been trying to 
push it off another week. But I don't think it's gonna happen because you all, as any girl knows that wear nails, this shit hurt. And if it snags on anything, it's gonna be even worse. So I'm about to go make me a nail appointment. We just had an order that came in. So I'm about to go package that order as well. It was at this moment that I decided to do a fruit fast for a week and I wanted to document my progress. Next week, I will be doing a juice fast. So if y'all want to join me, let me know down in the comments. I had no real reason to be using this, but I love my new tracker tripod from TikTok. All content creators need one. If you'd like to grab you one, check out my TikTok shop at being grace underscore 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 and grab you one. While I've been gone, <laughs> I have been really productive. I got a bunch of reels recorded. I worked out. I got a sit down video recorded. Um, well, I randomly, I randomly decided to join this two week fruit fast challenge. So what I had for breakfast, I just had the uh, chlorophyll and Celsius drink. And while I was scrolling through Facebook, my homegirl, she's on here as well on YouTube, um, being male, her niche is weight loss. And she challenged her whole group. She challenged all her followers to join her on the two week fast. And I'm like, is that God talking to me through her? Needless to say, this is lunch. I got some frozen blueberries, frozen oranges, and some golden kiwis. We just saw these in uh, Walmart. I ain't never seen no, I ain't never seen no golden kiwi. But it's good. Let's see how this, let's see if this little fast do us some justice because I'm back down to my lowest to where I've been in a while, 185. 185 today. And it seemed like when I get to 185, I shoot back up to 195. So hopefully this can break that stagnant stage, this fruit fast, and get me down to 179 at least. I feel like it will. I feel like it will. Like I have all assurance that it will. So if y'all want to join us on the fast, go over to Melissa's channel. I'll leave it down in my, um, matter of fact, I'll leave the video that she posts with the instructions in my description box and join us on this fast child. I'm excited. Cause. Ooh. I love frozen fruit. It's so good. But I'm excited because um, it's a challenge for me. Like, anytime I'm fasting any kind of way, I consider that a challenge. And I love challenges and I got to beat the challenge. So, today is Monday the 21st, I believe. It is the 21st because YouTube just paid us. It's the 21st and we are unofficially a two-week fast. Fruit fast. I'm happy though that we can at least eat. Could you imagine being on a fast with no food? Mm -mm -mm. While I was um 
scrolling. Oh. I just posted some of my old birthday pictures that I didn't post prior. And I'm so tired of seeing this blue toenail polish on my toes. Like, my toes look real bad. So, we're going to get them today. I wanted to go before I got the kids, but ain't no way that's going to happen. It's 1.41 right now. And they need to be picked up by 3. Ain't going to happen. So, we're going to go after we get the kids. I'm done with all my work though. Today's been really productive. Darius says it's been productive because the kids ain't been here to distract me. But I was done with everything I needed to do before 1 o'clock. Somebody just posted, Dear Future Husband on Tubi, that was a really good movie. I gotta go check that out. I'm about to go watch that movie on Tubi. <laughs> see if I can get it in real quick. Usually Tubi movies don't be too, too long. So I'm about to see if I can get that in real quick before I gotta leave at 3 to get them. Hey y'all. So, ooh, my camera lens is dirty. I had to clean that when I stopped. But since I last spoke to y'all, what did I do? I don't remember. Oh, I showed y'all what I was eating, the uh, fruit fast. So I went and got Darian from school. My oldest son missed the bus. I mean, missed the, he took the he took the wrong bus. He supposed to take a certain bus to go to Darian's school so I can pick them up together. But he took a different bus, still close to the house, so he made it home. Um, and then I set up everybody's doctor and dentist appointments. If y'all haven't done it, do that now. As we are getting closer to the end of the year, specifically dental appointments are going to start booking up because everybody want to use their benefits before the end of the year. And I'm the type of person, I wait till October to talk about, I'm going to call the dentist and we're going to go get our cleanings and all that stuff. And they be booked up until the following year and I miss out on my benefits. So Darius reminded me. Um, since I started looking for a job, he's like, well, since you're going to plan on being back working, you're going to be like confined to schedule. You need to make sure everybody got all their checkups, dental and health before you go back to work. So I made me and all the kids appointments. I called Caden's mom. She made his appointment. So all three of our kids have their physical set up, a normal checkup physical, and then also a cleaning. I believe my oldest son is having trouble with a crown that he had placed so i'm gonna have them look at that and then i set up my cleaning um and i have to set up my annual pap smear and my cancer follow-up appointment so i'm gonna do that tomorrow because right now it's like 4 30 and everything is closing we are pulling up here king palace nails so we're about to go get our feet done because I made an appointment with my nail tech I finally remembered because I always forget I made an appointment with her to do my nails tomorrow she had uh the nail finally came off she had availability open but I'm kind of nervous because this is my three week mark on the head and she got a rule that once you hit three weeks baby she charged you for a full set so we're gonna see what um happens with that tomorrow but I'm also getting her to do my toes and she don't do pedicures. So we need to get a pedicure. Darius has been on my ass since my birthday and my feet actually look real bad. I should have got them done for my birthday, but I kept putting it off, putting it off and it never got done. So I have to do it because I want her to do my ish tomorrow. I can't go another two weeks like this. I'm going to show y'all what these dogs look like and then we about to go get a pedicure. And I got my iPad with me so we can do some editing because I want to drop a video today.
these are toes y'all they look a little crusty they ashy but whatever just got some clear polish to look a little decent to get me through the night until i get them done done tomorrow but he did such a good job the guy that did my toes name was danny he talked me to death but he did a good job i'm, I'm thinking to myself like damn bro let me just enjoy my time this is my me time what do you want nor i'm not about to play with you she missed me i'm not about to play with you Mm -mm. back up where you going where you going girl back about my camera <laughs> Hey y'all, so we just got home, got back home. Darius came home not feeling good. Darian came home feeling the same way. And Darius, Darius' best friend is a pharmacist. So he calls him and tell him all the symptoms he had. And he like, bro, what should I take? His best friend like a COVID test. <laughs> like, at this point, that's the first thing you should be doing to rule out COVID. And then if it's not COVID, then you can just treat the cold so this is what we have we about to do a COVID test on Darius and Darian and it seemed pretty elaborate like last time I did an at home COVID test it was like swap put it in there and that was it you got to put this in a liquid they got to pour the liquid on the test kit it's, it's a lot and you gotta do all right. You're not, so you know how to do it, though, right? Yeah. I mean, it's read the directions and do it. I, I'm, I ain't slow. Okay, child. What you got for me? You ready for me? I ain't ready for you yet, patient. Oh, okay, patient child. D. Patient zero. <laughs> patient zero. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I got me one right here. Another right here. Really, really. Kids. So first thing first, remove the foil. It says mostly holes in here. I don't know what they're talking about. Okay. We'll open that. Punch through the perforated circle. Uh huh. Two. They go on my nose, they don't go on my mouth, right? Correct. Okay, I'm just trying to see if I can eat right now. Okay, so swap package in. Gently insert the tip five times. Come on, patient zero. Darren, back up real quick. Let me do daddy first. Sorry. Yeah, my tongue stuck in a Gatorade for a minute. Rotate it five times. Go for thirty seconds first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. So after thirty seconds, take this out. Okay. After thirty seconds, squeeze the swab at the bottom. One, two, three, four, four, four. It doesn't take that long, did you see? You got curl. I gotta go throw this away. You ever did a corona test before for you to be telling me that it don't take that long? Uh, uh, uh. You know why I would do it too long. <laughs> okay. So, let me um get y'all in the high anticipation moment. Move, baby. Okay, I gotta put it on the 
the bottom part. Four drops. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's Darius's. Now it's mine. How long it take to get the results? Under 20 minutes. Under 20 minutes? Okay, so. Dad, Come here, baby. Right there. I want to see the boogie squad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. You didn't do mine that long. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right here. Right here. Okay, you're doing. 20 and 20 and 20. I'm making me cry. Yeah. There goes those day offs. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, my show is doing it right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, it does it. One, two, three, four. You said, it, has it been waiting? It, 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 so it gave you a result? No, he says it's like testing right I'm now. I'm talking about mine. No, it's testing. Yeah, back it up. Back it up. It's looking like it is a negative though. Another line ain't popped up yet. To begin again. The highly anticipated Star Wars series, Ahsoka, arrives Tuesday. Hey y'all, good morning. I got this guy with me. We are at the doctor's office. He has to get a physical because I decided I'm going to switch his school. And I'll tell y'all about why um, a little bit, in a little bit. We're walking in the office right now. It's 830 and he needs to be here by 845. And it's just for a physical checkup. The school requires it, and then Darius wanted them all to get checkups anyway. I think you're getting on the scale. Right there. Oh, you're kind of chubby. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, I can't. Put that one more step. Oh, Scott, this is this again. What? The blood pressure thing? I have to do this at, like, this football voice. Come on, send me a chunk for me. Can we be an NFL player? Who's your favorite team? The um, Dolphins. The Dolphins? Mm -hmm. Of Miami? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. You meant to say Jaguars? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Breathe in and out for me. Good. Again. One more time. So, what position do you play football now? I'm going to play DN and I'm going to linebacker. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be on the back. I don't know yet. Okay. Appointment went well. My boy got a lollipop for, what he say, good behavior. And sports. And then good grades, too. Good. So, good I got, good uh, oh, good grades in sports. So, I got all my paperwork that we needed. I'm about to take him to McDonald's to get something to eat. And then we're headed to my nail appointment. I get my nails and toes done today. And once I'm done with my nails and toes, then I'm gonna go register him for school, hoping he can start tomorrow. I got my boy his McDonald's. He got his bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh, excuse me, bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle and his little Sprite. Meanwhile, I'm over here on this damn fruit fast, so I wasn't able to take advantage of anything at McDonald's. I'm gonna probably get something to eat after I get my nails done. When I eat, it slows me down. So I haven't ate this morning, and usually I like to get stuff done and then eat if i'm at home i may snack on something if i'm hungry but for the most part 
my, the first time I eat is usually midday for the most part. But um, as far as why we had to go to the doctor, so I'm changing his school because the school that he was going to, he was going there because Darius wanted him to be with his other siblings. But my oldest son has since left that school and he goes to a different school. He's in high school and his other siblings that are there, um, one of their parents decided that they're going to pick them up, which leaves Darian out by himself. And the other day, Darian is, he's about to be eight in two days. The other day I went to the school, my oldest son missed the bus, so he wasn't able to pick up Darian. So I had to go pick up uh, Darian myself. I went to the school and he was nowhere to be found. So in my mind, my son was missing. He's probably walking down to the side of the road. Like, I don't freaking know. I'm frantic. And all of this could have been avoided if everybody was picked up as a group. But they decided to do their own thing, which, I mean, they don't owe me shit. This is my freaking child. So I decided what was best for him. And he's going to go to a separate school by himself that's closer to the house. And he can ride the bus home. And it'll drop him right in the front of the subdivision. So I never have to leave home. So it's way more convenient for me. Because the old school that he used to go to just to be with his siblings literally took me about... 45 minutes just to do the pickup because the line was so freaking long yesterday it got to the point where i parked my car and i got out and i walked up to the school and to get him and it's not worth it for me to be doing all this like if it was a more convenient situation for him to stay with the other siblings it would have been cool but we got to do what's best for us lucius in my cookie in my cookie voice period so we about to chill here for a second i just dropped the grace girly merch and orders has been coming in. So y'all go to the website, shopcurvygrace.com. Your code subby still works. Y'all know that's always going to be y'all code. Anything I sell, just use the code subby and y'all going to get y'all secret special discount. And I call my subscribers, for the people that don't know, I call my subscribers the Grace Girlies because my name is Grace, one. And Grace means favor from God that is undeserved. You didn't work for him, work for it. He just favored you, so you're graced. And then girly is us embracing our femininity. I hope I said that right. So grace girlies is a very powerful statement to me. And it should be to y'all because y'all are my grace girlies. Y'all are some favorite feminine baddie women. So grab your shirt. I got shirts. I got hoodies. I got phone cases. I even got mugs with the grace girly logo. I got a whole separate logo made. So go check out the site. What's wrong? You can do something with this because I got hair on this job. Where do you see hair at, Darian? Like here, like what is that? I see one piece of lint. That's not a big deal, but if you want it, okay. Oh, uh, I'll just put it right here. Finish eating your food. But yeah, that is what it's tea. I'm about to go get my nails done. I'm feeling good. The morning is going good. I haven't experienced any hiccups. Thank God. And today, I don't know what we're going to do as far as content because I got a lot of outside of the house stuff to do. After we get our nails done, I want to go to Hobby Lobby. There's a new Hobby Lobby that opened up here in Jacksonville and I want to work on our bathroom. So I want to go see if they have anything in there. And then we may stop to another, a couple other stores, but this is our road dog today. He, he with us until, until we go home. Mm -hmm. So I'll see y'all at the nail appointment. nails is done i didn't end up getting my toes the way i thought i was gonna get them i just got them polished i wanted french on my toes but i booked my appointment the wrong way it's always done with my toes i'm always booking it the wrong way 
um, because you got to get acrylic on all your toes in order to get French. This is what the nails look like. They're so cute. And my toes is the lightest purple. I'm going to show it to y'all when I get home. That's what they look like. You see the heart? Uh -huh. That was a cute little detail. Did my phone? All right, now ABT. So, we just making it home, child, and it's three o'clock. And I ain't got nothing work, as far as work done today. Just been, took him to the doctor, got my nails done. Then I went to the school that I'm trying to register him for. And they said that registration is over at two. So I couldn't even do that. I gotta come back in the morning and do it. And they don't think he's gonna be able to start school tomorrow either. So, that's that and i'm hungry as shit i ain't ate nothing all day because i'm doing this fruit fast and it's kind of hard to get a taste for a specific kind of fruit so i was scrolling through tiktok and this man was eating some watermelon lime and tahine and that shit looked good i hit up my home girl that convinced me to try the fruit fast and i'm like so what vegetables can we have because i'm like okay i can cook some potatoes some broccoli like a little cute little mix she said no cooked foods this fast is no cooked food, so just straight veggies. Oh, I'm hungry. Let me see what this banana do. It's about to be the best banana I ever tasted in my life. You know, when you're hungry, everything be so much freaking better. Mm. Let me look at these damn COVID tests. Y'all remember we took COVID tests last night? And initially, it looked like it was a negative. So my son was like, just leave it on the counter. My son was like, just leave it on the counter and maybe then let's see if it changes by tomorrow. So I just looked again and it's still negative. So they did not have COVID. And right now I'm about to edit all the stuff that I recorded yesterday because I didn't get to do that last night and try and get all that stuff posted because I have not been active on any platforms today besides Mommy. yeah oh. besides Facebook I, I wanted to post a video today too but I don't have nothing recorded so can I can me and some work on child Darius just called me and he asked me what's for dinner I'm supposed to be working so I can't really cook a meal so we about to do something real quick Real easy, I went through the pantry and the freezer and this is what I came up with. So I found this, which is the Zatarin Black and Chicken Alfredo. Found some broccoli and we have some Alfredo sauce, literally one jar. We about to make some chicken Alfredo in like 10 minutes. Yeah. Hey y'all, good morning. So today is the next day. What is today? I think today's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. I'm on the way to a dentist appointment. I really shouldn't be eating this banana because I don't like going to the dentist with food all in your mouth. But honey, I'm hungry and I'm already on a fruit fast anyway. So we gotta put something on our stomach. They don't have to take me as I am. But basically what happened with me, when I got my veneers, I forgot how many veneers I got. I got like between 20. Maybe I should count one second. Okay, so I got 22 crowns. I always say veneers, but 22 zirconium crowns. And... I had a root canal done on one of my other teeth all the way in the back. They didn't touch this one because it was I already had a crown from the root canal and it was way in the back. So after I got my teeth done like a year later, that crown that they did here in the States, I think that crown was like, I got that crown when I was pregnant with Darian. So it was like seven years old and it came off. And within a couple hours, the break, the buildup that the dentists do under the crown, that came off as well. So that tooth has to be pulled. So that's what I'm going today to do. Get that tooth pulled all the way in the back. 
I've been putting it off. It's been like that for like nine months to a year now. And I've been putting it off because I really ain't want nobody touching my mouth here in the States. I wanted to go back to Turkey, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen soon enough. So I got to go get this taken care of. And that's what we're on the way to right now. And I ain't losing no weight today. I'm a little upset because the first day of the fast, I lost two pounds. Was that the first day? Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, when I weighed yesterday was the first weigh-in. Then I weighed today for the second time. And I'm the same um, pounds, 183. Which I guess I could, I should be thankful because I didn't gain. I stayed in the same spot. So hopefully today we can drop some more weight. And I definitely need to stop to like Publix or a grocery store and get me some other fruit. Because I'm banana the hell out. I basically ate the whole bunch of bananas. I'm banana the hell out. So I want some watermelon like I was telling y'all yesterday. I never got a chance to go to the store. So I plan to do that today. Get me some watermelon, get some lemons, and do that whole tahini mix. And that's what I'll eat throughout the day. So I'll see y'all at the dentist. This is your sign to make your dentist appointment because you know benefits renew every end of the year every beginning of the year whatever you're allotted for your dental insurance they renew and you lose that so now that we're on the second part of the year a lot of people are making their dentist appointments and a lot of these dentists are booking out until next year which is going to cause you to miss out on your benefits so if you know you need to get a dental cleaning or you need something done with your mouth call your dentist stop watching this vlog stop watching me in this vlog and go call your dentist because i care about your dental health more than i care about you watching me because teeth is expensive expensive over here in the united states like girl one implant is three thousand mm dollars -mm. a root canal with crown is three thousand mm dollars -mm. call your dentist sis call your dentist and if your dentist can't do it find you another dentist that's available <laughs> Because the one I'm going to today, this is the first time I'm going to this one. So we made out the dentist. I know I sound crazy, crazy, cause my, you know, my mouth numb. I got gauze in my mouth. They did end up pulling the tooth, and I'm irritated because I paid, I believe it was eight hundred dollars to get that root canal seven years ago, and they still had to pull it seven years later. I should have got that shit pulled back then, and when I got my teeth done, I could have got an implant back there. <sighs> But I did get um, bone graft, so I can get an implant eventually. But everything went well. I'm going to update y'all later. I just wanted to holler at y'all. I got to go pick up my medicine. And then I'm going home. Oh, I'm going to drop this paper off to Darian's school so he can get registered. But then I'm going home. That That's it. I don't think. Mm -mm. And then she said, I got to take my medicine with food. I'm like, baby, I'm on a fruit fast. I can't eat. What you mean I got to take it with food? So that's another problem. So I might eat like a potato and like potatoes and broccoli, some vegetables, and take my medicine with that to put something on my stomach. But I don't want to consume no meat. That's the thing. He has to pay. Okay, but I'm not helping him. Good morning, y'all. So it's like 6 o'clock. Might be like 6.30. I'm up, got dressed, got to get a haircut, and I wanted to wear silver today. But I'm walking Nor because my son didn't do it before he got ready for school. And I think I'm catching a little cold, so we about to go make us some ginger tea. Because I can't go back to sleep feeling like this. You know, Darius sick, my son's sick, and whatever they got, they heebie-jeebies trying to jump on me. And I'm like, <laughs> I do not got time for the shits this morning, Nor. Look at this girl. Okay, I thought she was going to go across the street. <laughs> this is what I use to make my ginger tea. I got these from Target, and they crush ginger, as it says. Now, they're not very strong, so I use two because I love ginger, but Darius prefers one. But I use these for everything I cook with these. They're convenient for tea. Everything, child. So, 
If y'all like ginger, get y'all some. But I'm about to use two cubes and some honey. And just pour a little hot water over it. And that's going to be the tea. Pour my bowl of water in. And everything gonna dissolve. So I'm just waiting on my ginger to dissolve. And I figured we'd chat and catch up. Cause last time y'all seen me was yesterday. And the dentist visit was kind of all over the place. Um, so I don't know if y'all really understood what happened. So as I mentioned, I had a root canal um, that I got about seven to eight years ago. About a year after I got my teeth done, that root canal that was done here in the States, the crown came off. And then, like, within hours, the buildup start to break down. And you can see the rods that they put in there. I can feel it in my mouth, like, with my tongue. And it's been that way for a minute. I would say about a year, year and a half. And I didn't want to go to the dentist here. I was trying to go back to Turkey because I was scared that when they pulled that tooth and they pulled up, they'll hit one of my crowns at the top and break it. And I got to go back to Turkey anyway. But my husband got sick of... Well, I wouldn't say he got sick of anything. He was just like, I need to schedule everybody appointments because we're getting towards the end of the year. So I'm like, let me go ahead and bite the bullet and get the tooth pulled. So now, along with getting my tooth pulled, they I haven't been to the dentist in like a year. So they had to do all the exams and gum measurements and all that stuff. And with your gums, I don't know what the measurement is. Like whether it, it got to be centimeters or millimeters or something small. But between one and three is normal for gum spaces in between your teeth, your gum and your teeth. Anything four is warnings, five and more is a concern. So I have some five deep pockets in the back of my mouth. And she said, um, it could be because of the, it could be because it's close to my molars. That's uh, sometimes normal. But to be safe, she wants to do a deep clean gum infection cleaning. So that was a more extensive cleaning and they were only able to do that on the left side of my mouth since she was pulling the teeth on the right. So my next appointment, which is in like three weeks, they're going to finish the cleaning on the right side of my mouth. And then I also have two cavities on my real teeth. So I got to get two fill-ins and they're going to do that all in the same appointment. But as far as like my crowns that I got in Turkey, everything they said looked good. I didn't volunteer the information that I got my teeth done overseas because a lot of people will be like, oh, if you get your work done overseas, a doctor in the U.S. ain't going to touch you. How the doctor in the U.S. going to know where you got your work from if you ain't say shit? If you going go in it, if you ain't say nothing, if you go in there volunteering information, then that's on you. They asked me where I got them done. I ain't say where I got them done. I just got my treatment and got the hell out of Dodge. So when I left the dentist yesterday, I came home. Um, chill for a second, waiting for my prescription to be filled, and then I went to go pick up my payments and my antibiotics, and I took the mugs and I went to sleep. I'm the type of person that if if a doctor give me some pain pills day one, I'm on them. Day two and day three, I try to wean off. I'm not having no pain right now. Feel pretty fine. So yeah, we're about to drink this tea, and we have more appointments today. So the first appointment is my car. I need an oil change and then Darian put a charger in the back of my car, the charging port, and it broke off. So I need them to fix that as well. So I'm about to drop my car off. And they were so nice because I called yesterday and my advisor be getting me right in. I called my advisor. He ain't respond. So I called Mercedes directly and a lady picked up and she booked me out till like October 1st. She was like, that's our next available appointment with the loaner and they not get in my car if I'm not getting a loaner. I need something to drive around in. I don't care if my husband got a car. I need something for my car. Th that's just how I've been trained with driving a Mercedes for years. So even when I drove a Honda, I used to tell him the same thing. I need a loaner. I was the only person with a Honda getting a loaner. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, I hit them up. It was like next October and Mercedes have a text customer service line. So I text the line. I'm like, um, my advisor's name. Hey, I'm I'm trying to get in. This is what's going on. He's like, oh, you can come in tomorrow at eight o'clock, and we don't have any loaners available, but I'll rent you a car from Enterprise. Talk about good customer service. So that's our first appointment. From there, I got to get a tape up. I might get a haircut because I'm tired of waiting on these lines to grow in. I mean, 
I was supposed to get a tape up, but I might get a haircut. That's what I meant to say. Because I'm tired of waiting on these lines to grow in. So I might get like a fade. We'll see. From there, I got to get my pap. From there, we got to take DJ to the dentist. So we got a full day of appointments. Whew. What time is it now? It's 6.49. So I'm about to drink this tea. And try to see what content I can create today with what I'm already doing. Because I haven't posted within the last couple days because I've been going to so many appointments. Usually I be in the house getting shit done. Working, posting, working, posting. And I don't leave out until late at night or on the weekend when my husband get off. But since I've been having to be out the house with these appointments, I haven't been able to work. And that's one thing I don't like about being a content creator. It ain't no PTO. Like, you know, at work, I could have put in three days of PTO, a couple hours of PTO. You don't work, you don't get paid, honey. You don't work, you don't get paid. That's the realities of being a content creator. That's why my ass about to get a job. Because sometimes I don't be wanting to do shit and I still be wanting to get paid. <laughs> Okay, we got our number, and he told me to park right here. Okay, they go a grace wagon back there, a G wagon. <laughs> but he told me to park right here, and then I'm about to go inside. I think I'm gonna get something to eat while I'm here. Good morning. Good morning. What is that? Oh, my camera. I'm a vlogger. Oh, Stop <laughs> recording me. me. You scare me. <laughs> so, um, I didn't do it. No I'm kidding. I don't know if you got my response. I'm blanks. We were texting yesterday, and we were supposed to do it at eight o'clock today with the rental at Enterprise. Come inside. Okay. I think. Yeah. I mean, all familiar. So yes. Okay. I just have somebody I think I had, but I was. Let me see what I got here for you. This didn't work out, y'all. The kitchen is closed. Okay, so I guess we can look at some cars while we wait. This thing is sexy. It looks like my car. Yep. GLB, that's what I got, it's just the ENG version. Oh, look at this thing. You now want me an AMG. Oh, that screen is thick. We all just touched it and it opened. That is not cute. So this is their electric vehicle. So they got a leasing special on it. A stack of month with nine bands down. And you don't gotta worry about gas. I don't know if I do that. That's a lot. I appreciate Mercedes trying to be accommodating. I got the car and it's some type of Ford. Um, it's like a SUV. I don't know what kind of Ford it is, but everything is in different places. And I just feel like I want to be in a Mercedes. <laughs> Y'all please forgive me, but I feel like my car, that's what my car is, put me in something similar. But I understand the situation. It was out of loaners. I agreed to it, but I didn't think this is what I would be driving. But I digress. I'm um, on the way to my appointment now. We're going to our haircut appointment, and I'm going to let him decide what he gonna do whether a tape up because i really want to get this shit out the side of my head and i feel like it's growing back but because it's growing back at different levels you can still see the shit you can still see it so we're gonna see what happened but let's go ahead and go to the doctor's appointment and what's tea what's tea did I end up eating anything at the dealership? Oh, so the, whatchamacallit did open. The cafeteria area did open. So I got me a an egg omelet, if that makes sense. Because I had to take my medicine for my teeth and they say I have to take it with food. Uh, 
Alright, so keep in the top, right? Mm -hmm. You want a ball fade size or yeah. like skin fade like pretty much like mine. Yeah. What you normally been doing for Um nothing, just moisturizing it because I wanna I'm growing it back and I'm gonna get my locks, but I went to this one dude and he convinced me that he was so raw with designs and I tried it. Now I can't take the shit no more, so I decided to do a fade. One design in the fade? Ooh, yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Doing this full time now. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. <laughs> it's kind of what's up until I realized the other day, um, Darius had got sick and the kids, and I had to help them out, mm -hmm. and I had to take some time off. Ain't no PTO. Right. <laughs> Ain't no damn PTO. I see my numbers start dropping, shit start turning into red with engagement. I'm like, oh no. That's the Take only thing. Take it with thing. you. You know what I'm saying? They following you around. That's true. I got irritated though, because it was like three newborn babies. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> the lighting behind you too bright. Mm -mm, that's good. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so the cut is done, and I love it. I love it. It looks so good. Is y'all catching the details? Hold on. Let me stretch the tripod out. I got to stretch the tripod out. Darius in there right now. Get him a cut. I can't wait to do my makeup and stuff. Okay, here y'all go. Y'all stretched. Stretch the back. What do y'all think? Ooh. <laughs> I can't wait to do my makeup. I love it. I just I keep saying it, but I really do love it. But my phone about to die, so I'm about to hop in the car, charge my phone, and we're heading to our next appointment, which is my OB appointment. And as I keep saying, this is your sign, ladies. If you have not had your OB appointment, your pap smear, within a year, book you an appointment one doctor had told me that you supposed to get them every three years now uh-uh ever since i had my first period i was always told it's a year and that's what i'm gonna do so it's time for us to do that and that's what so we're back to these days when we have haircut dates oh so cute oh, <laughs> let me see you boy let me see you boy hold on turn oh 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 give, give it to him give it to him Be all be beard and all oh no give him the light skin light skin squint ah! <laughs> oh, no, I squint like a red like a red guy so i ended up pushing my appointment back to 11 30 because he was taking a little longer and this is my first appointment and they usually a little strict so that's where we're headed now but i just wanted you to see his cut along with mine we cute mm -hmm. we ain't did this in a minute right i like this <laughs> make my appointment with his and put it on his tab one person Hold on, y'all. Let me put on my seat. So I've made a post on Facebook about how um, he gave me forty dollars to go get my nails done, and it wasn't enough. So this lady gonna come on there talking about why the f do I feel like you need to pay for anything anyway? Child, I just said the girl said get it, get it. I'm not gonna argue with you today, sis. Have a blessed day, cause clearly you over there. <laughs> Your man ain't coming up off of nothing. Him, I'm in my soft girl area. I need him to do it all. You hear me? Ain't that right, baby? No, that ain't right. <laughs> I need him that, to do I it all. Go that lady from, if you go to that lady page, that lady from like another. I'm scared of these kind of birth controls. Have y'all ever tried any of this? Anything like this? Like the strings hanging? Uh-uh. And I heard you get a lot of cramps. 
Have y'all tried this? Drop a comment down below and let me know. I really love the fact that they give you a real roll, but this is the first time I ever had that. Let me uh, switch my stuff out now. My seatbelt is on. So we are done. Um, that was a very quick appointment. My appointment was 11.30 and it's 11.52 and I'm already out. I love that doctor's office. If y'all in Jacksonville and y'all looking for an OB, um, this office is the location on Roosevelt and it's the Fabian office. And basically, it's all women. Like, it ain't no men in there. It's a vibe. Everything's cute. The aesthetics is there. They're informative. Like, this whole time, everybody been telling me because I have a history of leukemia, I can't really take no birth controls, only a low dose pill. I do bad with pills, so I'm not even going to play with you. So I haven't been on birth control. So now she's like, well, you have a variety of different options. And then she even wanted to talk about getting my tubes tied. So I set up a consultation because he don't want to get fixed. Why you don't want to get fixed? Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with me to get fixed, but what, what are we going at right now? I don't know if I need to. We got to get DJ right. at two and then my interview's at one. So you can go wherever you want to go. But what? Uh, why you don't want to get fixed? Man, I like me for me, baby. I don't, I don't want... I don't need to be messing up nothing that ain't broke. So uh, something broke on me. What's broke on me? What need to be fixed with me? So you having kids? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go to that next month whenever it's scheduled. But the appointment was quick. Um, she said everything looks good, but they're still gonna send off the little swabs and stuff just to make sure. No news is good news. If they call, it's an issue. I really could have did all this checking up for you myself. And, and what lab was you gonna send it to, and what products? I was you gonna, gonna use? let you know it looked good, and I was gonna test it out, see if it worked. You fine. always be trying to get in people areas. My areas, not people. Look, my areas. People's areas. You said it right, girl. You said it right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm with you when you're right. You is stupid. So um, I'm about to study for the this interview, like literally cramming for this uh, job. They calling me at 1:30. It's 12 o'clock now. I've been looking over their company values, researching them, but they interview based on star questions. Let me tell y'all what that mean, uh, star it. Wait, I'm. Sh their interview style is the star method. Now let me tell y'all what that mean. So they ask questions. Damn, I thought I downloaded this. Oh, it's right here. So they ask questions and the they basically want to get want you to give them a situation like tell me a time you failed. Tell me a time you went out your way for a customer. So they said the best way to answer this question is First, talk about the situation by setting the scene, by briefly describing the situation, challenge, or event you face. Then the T means task. Explain what your responsibilities were in the situation. What role did you play? The A is for action. Describe what steps you took to overcome the challenge or address the situation. And then the R is for results. Share what you achieved through the action. So... I've answered questions like this before, but it was one or two, but they make it seem like it's going to be all these type of questions. So I got to sit down and think about some scenarios that I can give these people and look at possible questions they may ask. Because if somebody asks you about tell me a time that you failed, I'm going to freeze up because I don't fail. <laughs> so I got to go find something that's going to sound good because I can't be like, I don't fail. I'm like, girl, next. So let me go look at these questions. good morning so today is friday and darian is still not in school so they finally got him um registered but they finally sent the supply list on everything he needs today so we got to get all his stuff more because they need different stuff than the last school and then we had already sent the supplies to the last school so now we got to buy more uh, supplies 
but we're gonna do that today and over the weekend so he'll just start school fresh on Monday but Darius took them to a coffee shop yesterday after my son went to a dentist appointment and he wants some the, the breakfast sandwich that they had from there I don't remember what it's called it's a new um franchise here in Jacksonville when I get there I know where it's at but I don't know what it's called so when I get there I'll show y'all the store but the lady said it was from it's Nebraska called it's called scooters okay the um lady said that it's a franchise from Nebraska so I'm about to take him there and then we head into the hair salon to go see my sister the hair guru Carla y'all make sure y'all check out her YouTube channel but um I want to I told her my camera, my M50, takes really good pictures, so she wants to use it to take her product pictures, which I'm probably going to end up taking the pictures because she is working, and today's her husband's birthday, so she's trying to get off early. So I might just take the pictures for her real quick, and then um, we're going to get on with our day. So that's where we're headed. But after I show y'all this coffee place, I'm going to insert my TikTok day in the life vlog because it's hard for me to vlog on my camera like vlog the regular way and then make a short form vlog at the same time so i just decided since this is already such a long vlog i'm gonna make my short form vlog still for tiktok the regular way and then i'm just gonna insert it in uh here for y'all so whereas it probably would have been about 10 minutes it's gonna be cut down to maybe about one to two but either way it's still content and i gotta diversify posting on multiple platforms like i always tell y'all Okay, so what is this? Roosevelt. Okay. All right, I'll see y'all at the coffee shop. That is crazy. How they got that roll? <laughs> okay. You got the maple waffle. I'm trying to see what would be a good drink for you to get. this Walgreens I like it hey y'all so there was a little bit of a change of a plan change of plans so I had all intentions on making a real day of the life and inserting it but things kind of took a turn and I, like I can vlog with unexpected changes regular YouTube vlog but when I'm making a short vlog I have it planned out step by step as soon as one thing go left it'd be like the whole vlog's over throw it away we got to start over tomorrow so that's pretty much what happened i went to my sister salon we were supposed to do the product shoot but she told me that she's ordering all new product like she has a bunch of new stuff coming in so i'm like we might as well wait till next week when they come in to do the shoot so i really just sat behind her computer and updated some stuff for her on her website and that was it now we're at the enterprise because remember it was yesterday or day before yesterday i dropped my car off to the dealership they said my car is ready oil change was done everything's good so i'm enterprise dropping off the car and then mercedes is gonna send a shuttle to get me and take me to my car yeah a mouthful and i was i was gonna try and book i was gonna try and keep the car over the weekend because that's less miles on my car but all the kids football stuff in my trunk and Darius wanted me to get it so either way i had to come see the car and it was gonna be like hey ma'am you getting stuff out the trunk where's the rental so that's why i'm returning this mug early so that's t let's go ahead and get these people back their keys they gave me a ford explorer i'll show y'all what that looked like i'm just about to do a sweep i have one of our porters coming to pick you up now i told him to call you to let you know who he is He'll be in a field shirt. I love the customer service at this dealership. So let me get out of here and I'm going to show you all the car. Okay, we ain't leave nothing in that mud. But it was a Ford Escape. I used to want one of these in my teenage days. They started making the body different. Back. 
Darius calls calls my car blurple. Y'all can see the color right here. But he calls it blurple because it's so loud. He's talking about ain't nobody else in the city in that car. As soon as somebody see you coming around the corner, they know it's you. A couple of y'all inbox me too. Like, Grace, I just see you coming around the corner. I love my car though. I love a loud car. Like, what are we doing? I do want to get some tents soon. You can see that mugs. Fishbowl. So as of right now, y'all, it's one o'clock, two o'clock. Ooh, it's two o'clock. I think today is just the bus. Like, it is what it is. I don't think I'm recording it. And I might go home and record a try-on haul. I think I can do that. I can record a try-on haul, edit that, and put that up today. And make it a try-on haul for my store. Two-in-one. Yeah, I like the idea of that. So, I'm about to go home, put on a little face. And then we're going to film a try-on haul and wait for Darius to get off of work. Because today's been a bus. <laughs> I'm about to wrap the vlog up, y'all. It's the end of the day. I don't see anything else interesting happening. And I'm ready to edit. Like, I have nothing else to do. So, I'm like, I might as well edit. So, I'm about to wrap the vlog up. My mom wanted me to let y'all know she got engaged. She's like, tell the girls, auntie engaged. <laughs> so, I'm going to insert her video. Oh, they caught me off guard. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this caught us off guard. Let me see that thing. 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 Let me see that thing.